I think we should probably, okay, so I don't, I don't have room on my desk for the, the Mac Studio, so I just thought we could put it on yours for now. Uh, when we're done, we'll unplug everything and then put it on my desk once I like, I just wanna, I don't have the, I don't wanna make the room right now. So just for now. Just for now. And then I'll move it all to my side after. Look at this, look at all this. Hey, 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 hey. Look at these big monitors. I, ex I uh, respect the Razor Crest. Why do you still have the Drobos? What are these wires? What is all this? Angels and Airwaves lives here. So <laughs> if you want to finish that dock, don't touch that. Okay. Don't touch I, that. But you could probably do a better job. This is the Max Studio. Why is it in a Pelican case? I'll tell you why it's in a Pelican case. I already unboxed it, but I think it's super interesting that we live in a world now where I can take the most powerful system that Apple has to offer currently, and I can put it in a 1510 Pelican case, and I could travel with this literally anywhere without having to check it. Think about what that opens up. That was just perfect timing for opening this up, wasn't it? That is not even full to the brim. You could get some studio headphones in here. You could get an iPad in here, which means you also have a monitor. Heck, you could probably drill a bunch of holes in this and make this a portable workstation. Airflow might be a bit of an issue, so maybe just keep it for transport. But think about this. This Pelican can go in the back of my truck. Heck, I could drop the tailgate and actually plug this in to the power in the back of my truck and have a full mobile studio anywhere that I go. Literally anywhere. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you ready to? No, 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 I'm exporting. It's still going? Yeah. Still going? Yeah. How long has it been going for? Two hours. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start helping. Just I'm just careful, if you hit the power cord. Do you even use these? No. You know how much money these cost, Kirk? I, I like that one. Yeah, well, I'm glad. Oh, look at all this, dude, this is insane. Careful. Careful. It's safe. What's the percentage at? It was at 85, what's it at? 90. 90, oh, we're moving! We're moving! <laughs> it's professional! <laughs> Woo! Woo! Let's take a look at this thing. This is the physical Mac Studio with the M1 Ultra chip. So you've got the ports in the front, you've got your configuration in the back. So down here are the vents that suck in the cold air and spit it out the back. Will this have trouble overheating? I don't know yet, haven't used it yet. You've got your full size keyboard in here. You've got Touch ID on the keyboard for the first time, that's cool. Magic trackpad, all this stuff fits inside the case. You get your cables for everything. The only thing that comes in the box with the Mac Studio, besides the stickers and the documentation, is this braided power cable in the Mac Studio itself. These are always just such nice quality cables too. Like they just coil so satisfyingly. They're so satisfying to coil. Now this version is the fully stacked version. Uh, so full disclaimer, I did not pay for this. Apple sent this to me on loan to make this video. Keep in mind that with the tests that we will be running this against the Mac Pro, it is the highest version that you can get. That means it is the M1 Ultra chip, which is essentially two M1 Max chips fused together. Just think in five years what they're gonna be doing. M1 Infinite. 20 core CPU, 64 core GPU, 128 gigs of RAM, and you've got eight terabytes of onboard storage, which is mm, chef's kiss. The crazy thing is all of that is still better than the Mac Pro that I currently have, which cost quite a bit more. But I think what excites me about this Mac Studio and the entire release of all of these new peripherals and accessories, the high-end specs are becoming more and more obtainable that can fit into a small Pelican case and you can carry on a plane. Also at the price point, depending on how you spec it out, that's not going to destroy a small studio. That's pretty awesome. I mean, just look at the monitors, for example. You got an XDR monitor that after tax and shipping is probably gonna cost you close to $10,000. And now you can get the same size monitor that's not 6K, but it's 5K. 5K and it is so much less. But the upside is now you've got speakers and a camera built in. Now I wouldn't say this is gonna go replace your beautiful studio monitors and give you better sound, but it's definitely gonna give you better sound than what's coming out of a Mac Pro or what's coming out of an XDR 
which is nothing. This video is brought to you by ArtGrid. Let's call it stock footage that doesn't look like stock footage. Like a bunch of people in a lab coat, clearly in a studio, checking off things on a clipboard or high-fiving real awkwardly. Like smashing a piggy bank with a hammer, all those just lame things. ArtGrid's footage looks good. They got a big variety and it is high quality. You can also search by palette or colors or themes depending on what video or what project you're working with to try to narrow things down faster. It's membership based. Once you're in, you have everything. One and done. Download whatever you want, use it wherever you want, and you can cancel at any time. If you don't want it anymore, just leave. And that's it. Everything you've ever made with ArtGrid from the past is still covered forever. And you can also try it out for free. ProRes footage, log footage, 8K footage. It's, you get it, it's good. And it doesn't look like cheap lame stock footage. A bunch of young adults in business attire shaking hands and nodding in agreement. Okay, gone. Get that out of here, what are you doing? So head over to artgrid.io to start creating without limits. It just felt like that was very like, I'm removing the shackles, my creative shackles to create without limits. And then I went like Super Saiyan, you know? Yeah. You gotta love that, eh? Come on. Ah, okay, clip to the back here, you've got the cable, that's fun. I love this, everyone loves Apple Pack. Look at that, opens like a little book. Man, you really know, like if you buy something like this, it's not gonna arrive broken, unless Jim Carrey delivers it. That's an old movie reference. So. Yeah. Cut the music, Kirk. That wasn't as satisfying as I wanted it to be. This is the nano glass version. I've got a giant light dome in front of me. Barely, barely a reflection. Yeah, you can see a light source because it's massive, but just about no reflections come through on this, especially when you have like, yeah, there's a light dome, like right here and it's not bad. There's, Case in point. That hinge is real nice too. I'm finally excited that Apple, yet again now, offers a studio display that's not the XDR that's affordable. They used to have that display, which was great, and I had them back when I was really into dual monitor displays and working that way. Then the XDR came out, they didn't really have any other options. So I think the addition of this will be very welcomed from many creative professionals, just because it fits in a range where you can buy two of them and you're not gonna be dropping 20 plus thousand dollars. Wish I knew that a couple months ago. <laughs> so Pete, is it fast? Is it good? It's maxed all the way out. What does that look like? Here's the example you've been waiting for. We're taking an After Effects project with over 200 layers of graphics. Should also mention on top of that intro with 200 plus layers, we're gonna export the entire tutorial with it, which was about 20 minutes. We're gonna export that on the latest Mac Pro, which is very close to being fully maxed. And then we're gonna export the exact same project on the Mac Studio. Look at all this room look for at all activities. This, look at the space. I don't even need this anymore. Can we take it out? The good news about this being so clean and looking so good though is uh, this is your new setup. 
this is yours. It's for you. It's for you. Yeah? 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 yeah. I get to keep it? You keep it. It's yours. Dude, what do we do with the old one now? You know what would be sick? If Apple made one of these as a bit of a troll, this opened up and it was just like a container to put things. I see if you can cut yourself on the edge there. It's sharp. There's got to be a way to open this, empty the contents, put the shell back, and get some fun content. It's got that new Mac smell, you know? Smell it. No, really. Like, just, like, breathe in fully through the vents in the back. Just... No, it <laughs> smells good.